Hello everyone, so this is an update video for my uh, Atmel powered smartwatch. I've gotten quite far since my last video. I've actually had some PCBs made and um, here they are. Very, very complex. It took me absolutely ages to design and troubleshoot. And I've also designed a little logo too. Um, and I've also started work on the operating system. I don't know if I can get a good focus on the screen because it's quite bright. But the camera really doesn't complement this. It's it's ridiculous how crisp the text is and stuff. I mean, I just can't get a decent focus. You know, because I'm only using this the camera and uh, I will put a picture up of the screen but oh that's not too bad actually at the minute but uh, yeah it's got a really good sharp sharp text on the screen um, I'll figure something out anyway so where I'm at at the minute is uh, parts I have enough parts in here for 10 watches um, and then we've got all the SMD resistors in there so we've got the motors, the, the buzz motors. We've got new update since the last video. Is we've got an onboard uh, USB to SD bridge in there, and micro SD card slots just here. So basically, you can keep um, and this one's running off a of battery, but basically you can put your SD card in there, 32 gig maximum, and we've got the bridge straight on there, so you can. Uh, use it as a flash a flash drive as well. So that's new, the micro SD card slot. All my processors uh, finally arrived. I went for the, well, my microcontroller, sorry, I went for the Amega 128 In the end, because of its lovely flash size, without, and also it's a dress line, which I probably won't need, um, but basically, it's the most memory for the cheapest price. I was thinking about loading files from the SD card, but this is the quickest way to do it and we've got watch straps here we've got uh, piezo modules we've got uart uart bridges real time clocks um lithium ion uh, power management sockets and then we've got lots of uh, oled screens and then also a really new feature is this little case uh, laser cut back which will go on this 3D printed case uh, and I've also after comments from the last video redesigned it so it's bezeled slightly around the edge and then the case is like that battery sits on that lip there screen rests in that uh, little groove and then joystick hole and it's pretty nice and I have some ridiculously exciting news I don't know if it's exciting for you guys. And, oh yeah, we've also got the HCF5 Bluetooth modules there. Lots of those. And then I've got some really cool news. Some batteries, 10, which is ridiculously cool. Spin around. Yes, I bought a 3D printer. It is a RepRap Pursa i3 variant. So it's not a true per uh, Prusa, sorry. It's a variant. Um... One thing that I would recommend is don't buy a cheap Chinese rep wrap because I did and I've basically had to redo all of its electronics. Um, it came with this terrible driver board that didn't work at all. Um, I basically had to start from the ground up with the whole thing but it's finally printing now. I don't really have anything lying around that it's printed but this Yoda it printed half of and then I went and knocked it so it's uh, died but it's done it really well it's taken me since the last video about um three weeks after that last video i got it so a very long time to get it up and running i only got it up and running last week um so that has been quite an adventure i've got had to buy a new power supply because the one that i got was bad i've had to buy a new drive board because the one i got was bad and basically their customer services is terrible and they wouldn't replace anything and uh, they only knew Chinese, so it was a Google Translator job that didn't go well at all. So, here's my prototype, which you saw in the last thing. I've not had time to do much on that. Um, I really want to, you know, 
progress on the watch and I'm really enjoying doing it but college is really catching up with me I've had ridiculous amounts of work to do with uh, very unreasonable deadlines and then along with all my own electronics work and uh, programming and stuff like that you know it's all jumbling up together and not being a nice mix but yeah the this is all standalone at the minute running off a of battery and I just can't get a nice shot on that screen I'm gonna I'll put a picture at the end just to show how how good it is but I really can't get a good focus just to be something to do with the light maybe maybe I could turn my lamp off no we just can't get that focus can we never mind it's such a small object you know um no never mind anyway I won't bore you but yeah, I'm really sorry it's taken me a while to get this video out. I've been wanting to do an update for ages. Um, and I really need to get, get on the road with this. And When it's all finished, I will release software and I'll try and get, get some sold. But uh, it's quite a fun little project and I'm really enjoying doing it. I've got a lot of work I need to do to troubleshoot bits of the circuit board, which I think might be bad. Um, it's been quite a learning curve having my own circuit boards made when you realise stupid things that you've done. So far, I've not found anything completely terrible that's gone wrong. I found a few uh, flaws here and there. Some of my uh, drill layer didn't go through correctly, and a, a, a couple of holes weren't drilled. Luckily, all of these were were perfect, all ninety-two of them. But unfortunately, one of the holes where the sc screen connector is didn't go through right. So, I now have a load of boards in here which uh, haven't got a hole in one place, but, you know, it's not catastrophic. I can drill a hole. I can't really run a trace that easily or add vias, so I'm quite pleased that it's just a hole. You know, the soldering pad's still there. Um, but, yeah, the parts are, have really racked up now. I've got absolutely everything, um, and I'm really ready to start putting a few together. I'm not going to solder any up yet, apart from this test one, until I've got software finished. Um, the operating system is slowly progressing when it comes to the coding building an operating system for a, for something that's as crude as this is very very tricky because I'm trying to get it to run really smooth but I'm also trying to get it so that you can write your own games for it really easily so it's got to be user friendly on the user side and the coding side because users will be hacking all of it I guess uh, this mess of wires that you see here, this is the Piezo module which will be hidden in the back of the case when it's finished. And this is an uh, I, I, ICSP header. And the idea is that there's this connector on the back here that you can just solder your own wires on so you can directly hack the chip. You know, you can really mess about with it, do what you want with it. And that's how I'm programming it at the minute because uh, unfortunately my on the Rev 1 of the circuit board the UART line is slightly messed up. It's only the reset for the UART itself, so I need to cut the trace and it should work. But yeah, it's all going really well at the minute. There's a lot of work that I still need to get done. And uh, thanks for sticking around and watching the video. And I hope you support my channel and hopefully spread the word of the watch, try and get it out there a bit. Um, it's just a fun little project. Hopefully I might be able to sell a few if uh, I get enough chat about it or whatever I might start a Kickstarter if there's a lot of interest but um, oh yeah something that I was really hoping to show where is it gone here it is I shouldn't have already but I've started designing a second version of the watch already and the plan is there's going to be two revs this is rev A here that you see and then this is going to be rev B um, I'm really sorry about this this is a one shot kind of thing. I don't have time for editing at the minute, so. Basically, I've written an entire library. This is also taking up a lot of my time for this color screen, which draws cubes and also interfaces with it. Because this screen is ridiculously, well, it's not ridiculously cheap, but it's pretty cheap. And it has never been interfaced with an Arduino before, or from what I can tell anyway. Uh, someone out there might have, but I couldn't find any code, so I've written a library for it. Once it's been cleaned up a bit, um, I'm going to put the code out there. I don't know how well that's coming through.
but that looks pretty good on the screen. But as you can see, that's drawing cubes. So that entire library just draws cubes. Well, it draws whatever you want. Um, and that's the next version of the watch. So this screen's on a breakout board. The uh, actual screen itself won't be when it's finished. But the plan is two versions. This is going to be A here, and we've got B. B, probably not for a long time, because as it's going, A is taking up so much of my time. Um, but yeah, B is something that I can see on the horizon, and I know what people are thinking, you know, Apple are bringing out all these watches, and, you know, if you think this is a ridiculously stupid thing, I mean, I'm not too bothered, it's my own, my own project, it's a learning curve for me, I mean, I learned so much doing these projects, and I hope to share my ideas and all my designs with other people and maybe sell them if anyone's interested. You know, I don't know. I Code and stuff is open source, but as it goes, hardware for me right now has taken up so much of my time that I'm probably going to sell the circuit board, sold it up in a case. But software, I'm going to just distribute on GitHub probably. I've already got a GitHub set up. It's just having a substantial amount of code to put up there. So I'll probably wrap this video up there. I'm sorry it's gone on for so long, and it was probably pretty boring. Um, but I don't have a lot of time to make my videos exciting at the minute because college work is just blah. It's horrible. Um, but when it's all done, uh, my video should get a bit more exciting, I guess. So thanks for watching. Pass this video on to any friends that you think might enjoy it or whatever, and subscribe. Thank you.